Hello, little explorer. Did you go on an adventure today? Did you explore anything new? Being a little explorer means we're always learning and exploring the world around us, and sometimes even out of this world. Tonight, we are going somewhere special. Before you go to sleep, we're going to go beyond our planet on a magical journey into space. Are you ready? First, we have to prepare for our journey by slowing down our breath. One fun way to use your breath to help you calm down is to breathe into a different part of your body and feel it relax. Would you like to try it with me, little explorer? Here we go. Breathe in and breathe into your toes. Feel your toes as you take a big breath in and then let it out. Feel your toes go all soft and relaxed. Now, breathe into your legs. Into your legs. And then breathe out and feel your legs go soft. Now, let's breathe into your belly. Into your belly. And when you breathe out, feel your tummy go all soft. Great job. We're nearly there. Now, let's breathe into your face. And breathe out and feel your cheeks, your nose, even your ears go all soft. Wow, well done. Now that you are calm and relaxed, little explorer, let's go exploring. Exploring into space. Ready? All great explorers have a backpack. And in your backpack, you have a special jetpack that can blast you up, up into space. All you need to do is to put on your backpack and space helmet and then take in a big breath. Ready? Here we go. Breathe in. Whoosh. Up. Up. Up we go. Up over your house. Up over your town or city. Above your country. Above the whole of planet Earth. Up and up through the clouds and into the twinkly stars and planets in the night sky. Whoosh! Oh, look, we're here. How amazing does it feel to be floating up here in space? Now, guess where we are going to explore tonight, little explorer? We're going to travel around outer space to see if we can discover some space dust. 
Have you ever heard of space dust or cosmic dust before? Do you think it's actually bits of dust floating around in space? Does someone come along and clean it up like the dust at home? Shall we go on a mission to find some? Let's fire up our jetpacks and whoosh through the stars to find out. Whoosh! There's a big cloud of space dust called the Helix Nebula, which is actually 700 light years away from us here on Earth. So we've got a bit of flying to do tonight, little explorer. So let's keep going. Whoosh. Whoosh. Okay, we're finally here. Wow, look around you. We're in a giant cloud of sparkly dust and gas. It's so peaceful and pretty here, with lots of colourful rings. Let's have a closer look at what it is. Hmm, so it looks like this dust is actually from an old star that is near the end of its life and is very slowly breaking up. But guess what? Sometimes these clouds of cosmic gas and dust may actually come together again to make a new baby star. How cool is that? So it looks like we don't have to clean up this sort of dust, little explorer. Space dust, which is actually called a nebula, is an amazing collection of old stars or the beginning of new baby stars. Now that we've solved that mystery, shall we fly back home? Back to bed for a long sleep. Ready? Let's leave the space dust behind and fly back towards planet Earth. As you fly back, take a moment to think about all the things you are thankful for in your home, your community, and your planet. Maybe you're thankful for new things in your life right now, A new friend, a new toy, a new game you love to play. As you float back down into bed, fill your mind with all the things that make you happy. Especially the people you love and who love you back. Landing softly back in your bed, ready for a great night's sleep. Waking up in the morning, feeling healthy and happy and ready to explore the world again tomorrow. Good night, little one.